Racing games, one of my all-time favorite genres, and the PlayStation 1 was home to some of the most incredible racing games ever made. Gran Turismo, Ridge Racer, Formula 1, all showed off the amazing power of Sony's first system. Today, however, we are going to take a look at some of the more cute and oddball racing games that were released for this amazing machine. As always, feel free to subscribe to I Have All The Coins, and while you're at it, let me know in the comments section what old, weird, and wicked games you'd like to see featured in an upcoming episode. A few of these racing games are clearly aimed at younger players, so let's get these weirdos out of the way first. Ready? Steady? Go! Arthur, based on a beloved children's book series and PBS cartoon. This game is kind of a downhill boxcar derby RPG for babies. As Arthur, you wander your neighborhood, shaking people down for the coin to make your boxcar the fastest. We've got lots of great car accessories. All right! In the races themselves, you barrel downhill at the breakneck speed of four miles an hour, listening to Arthur comment on literally everything. But make sure not to hit any hay bales. They slow the car down. Why would a six-year-old play this when they could be playing Loaded or Legacy of Cain is beyond me. The other racing game that is clearly aimed at kids is Sesame Street Sports. Pick your favorite Muppet and get ready for some age-appropriate whitewater rafting. The best part of this game is that the main characters are all voiced by the real voice actors from Sesame Street. Use these buttons to get more help, choose a race, or to pick a different character. The game honestly has decent graphics and is surprisingly fun to play. I really like having Big Bird and Elmo color commentate as I race downstream. This is a great race, but it isn't over yet. Actually, could you imagine if Big Bird and Elmo commented over every game you play? One. You're welcome, and <laughs> yourself. Okay, I had to play a lot of racing games to make this video, and what I discovered is that some are quite terrible. So here's a few to avoid at all costs. Extreme Go-Kart Racing. Very slow, sluggish controls, and boring characters. A lackluster attempt at a racing game. It does, however, have these cute little bunnies in the stands, so that's something, I guess. Oh, Lego. you think a big brand like Lego would have splashed out for a decent racing game, but no. Instead, we got Lego Racers, and it's a mess. Ah, enjoy that buttery smooth 18 frames a second, because that's as good as it gets. South Park Rally? This is a great idea! What could possibly go wrong? Oh, boy. Some people might disagree, but I personally find this game to be hot garbage. It has terrible controls and a brutal frame rate. It's kind of like Twisted Metal if you removed everything that made that game good. If you have fond memories of this game, I challenge you to play it again. South Park Racing does feature Saddam Hussein, but then many of the games from this era did. This one is the most disappointing of the lot, if only because I absolutely love the Woody Woodpecker cartoon from way back when, and Woody and the gang deserve a much better racing game than this. It does score pretty high in the graphics department, and it plays pretty fast, but this game is no fun at all. Remember how annoying the blue shell weapon in Mario Kart was? Playing this game feels like getting hit by a blue shell over and over and over again. Not cool. All right, enough of the riffraff. Let's move on to the good stuff. You just knew that the Big Mouse wasn't going to go and skimp on their first outing on the PlayStation 1. This game is incredible. Top-notch graphics, great controls, and wonderfully fun to play. My only complaint, and it's a huge one, is that save for Chip, Dale, and Jiminy f***ing Cricket, all the playable characters are a bunch of weirdos you've never heard of. Where's Donald? Where's Goofy? Where's the rest of the Rescue Rangers? Who wants to play as these idiots? Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour is a good game that could have been great. Way to go, Miss. 
Made in Dublin, Republic of Ireland by Funcom, Speedpunks is another absolutely beautiful PlayStation 1 racing game. It very wisely models its gameplay after Mario Kart. Lots of variety in the cars and tracks here, and a slew of really cool power-ups. Speedpunks, play it! La 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 The PlayStation era was one where you could take just about any well-known IP and make a kart racing game for it, and the Smurfs was perfect fodder for this. If you ever dreamed of racing a tiny kart around Gargamel's lab, your dreams are about to come true. The best feature of the Smurfs are the amazing tracks. Very well designed and a ton of fun. Great power-ups, lots of characters, all from the show by the way. They didn't make any up like that stupid mouse did. So yeah, go Smurf yourself, Mickey. Okay, 90s kids, I have found your racing game. And unlike the idiot mouse, Nickelodeon had the wherewithal to actually put characters from their cartoons in this wicked kid-friendly kart racer. Rugrats, Spongebob, Ren and Stimpy, the gang's all here. Nicktoons Racing is one of the easier games in this video, but that is not a knock against it at all. <laughs> Slower speeds and wider tracks will help players new to the genre get some wins under their belt and enjoy the colorful graphics and great controls. So put down that Betty Spaghetti and get ready to hear your favorite Nickelodeon characters scream the same thing over and over and over again. More Muppets! I absolutely love how the loading progress bar is Beaker's neck. This game is after my heart before I've even played it. Once again, we get the actual voices for the characters, only this time, instead of a game you'd be embarrassed to show your friends, we get a very solid kart racer. This game has a slew of really cool tracks, lots of insane power-ups, multiple game modes, and chickens galore. My favorite racer is Gonzo, who pilots a UFO and shoots chicken rockets. What was actually going on with Gonzo and those chickens, anyway? Weirdly enough, Mototune Grand Prix is actually the very first PlayStation 1 game I can remember playing. At a friend's house, long ago. This game is set in a wacky cartoon world with wild looking cars and totally psychedelic tracks. I find this game to be one of the more difficult ones in the video, cute or not. Lots of unlockables and plenty of challenge in this fabulous PlayStation 1 racer. Because of course Looney Tunes Racing! And unlike Disney, Warner Brothers made sure all the playable characters here were fan favorites. Wow, what a great kart racing game this turned out to be. This was my personal favorite of them all. This game looks and sounds incredible. The speed, the tracks, the weapons, the handling, the comedy, it's all perfectly balanced here. But above all, this game is just a blast to play. In my opinion, this game is better than Mario Kart 64. There. I said it. Time to get weird, in a good way, with Micro Maniacs Racing. First, I have to mention the menu screens. They are designed to look as though you were looking at them through a microscope with little paramecium and stuff floating around. Pretty neat. With Micro Maniacs Racing, my brain really wants to say micro machines. You control an actual person instead of a car, and you run around the tracks instead of drive. Also, you are micro sized, so the tracks are set in and around a home, giving it a cool Toy Commander vibe. This top down racer also uses the much misunderstood control scheme from the likes of RC Program and Cobra Triangle, so be warned. This game is actually a lot of fun to play once you get onto the controls, and I mean, who doesn't want to race around on top of a giant record player? Oh boy, the big mouse again. Let me guess. Woody and Buzz aren't even in it. Oh wow, they are! Actually, the gang's all here. Toy Story Racer plays a lot like the Smurfs, which is to say, very well. No time to lose! Fun tracks, cool weapons, and an awesome arena battle mode round out this excellent racing game from Disney Pixar and Traveler's Tales. You're better buzz than I am. Well, it would have been absolutely scandalous to leave out this fan favorite. Crash Team Racing is the only game in this video, 
that actually got a fancy remaster for modern times. It's a very solid game. It has Crash and all his pals. It's got crates to break and other stuff. Honestly, I really don't see what a whole fuss is about. Crash Team Racing is a competent game, but not particularly special. The Smurfs is arguably a better racing game than this. So where's the Smurfs remaster, huh? Where? All right, time for one of the big boys to weigh in. Moogles, white mages, chickens, what could be cuter? Chocobo Racing is Square's take on the racing genre, and it's really quite spectacular, if not very, very difficult. So I gather that racing the huge chickens in Final Fantasy is nothing new, but here they are in their own dedicated racing game. As I said, this game is tough. The gameplay is deep and will require you to put in some serious time to even finish in the top three. There are better looking racing games in this video, but Chocobo Racing makes up for it with blistering speed and a massive amount of content. This game is no doubt a billion dollars these days, so do yourself a favor and find a retro gamer friend who has it in their collection and steal it from them. And finally, Bomberman Fantasy Race is a game you owe it to yourself to play, even if it's just the one time. There were some strange games that came out for the PlayStation 1, where the experience of playing them is hard to describe. Jumping Flash, Toe Ball, Bubsy 3D, you really have to play them to get it, and Bomberman Fantasy Race stands tall with all of them. Don't get me wrong though, this game is amazing! So if Square can shoehorn their giant chickens into a racer, why not Hudson Soft characters? In this game, you first choose a rider, and then an animal to ride. Remember those kangaroo-like creatures from the Bomberman games? Sure you do! That's what everyone is riding around the track in this really unique game. See how I jumped the gun there? Don't do that. Although the computer seems to get away with it all the time. Much like the chicken racing, there is a steep learning curve to get past. Until you get on to the unique controls, you will be finishing last every time. You have to get your kangaroo up to a gallop on the straightaways, and then really slow him down to take the corners. The kangaroo doesn't respond right away, so it really feels like you're riding a creature with a mind of its own. And if that was not hard enough, you have to be ready to jump over pits and obstacles as you race as well. The game is colorful and so beautifully designed. There are a slew of tracks to race and a serious amount of content to unlock as you go. Bomberman Fantasy Race is one of the most unique and adorable games you could ever play on the PlayStation 1, and due to its scarcity, it's a poster boy for modern day emulation. If you ever get a chance to try it, you really, really should. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Did I miss any of your favorite cute racing games on the PlayStation 1? If so, leave me a sternly worded comment about it, and I'll see you all next time.